and today we're here to look at a brand new product, a Fock Wolf 190 from Parkzone, it's a buy and fly basic. Underneath the aeroplane, we'll install the wheels, as you can see there's little recesses, um, we're putting on the fixed on the carriage, so this is what it includes, um, Parkzone will also offer a retract set for this, which will be an e-flight product, and that should be available very soon. But as you can see, the wheels fit into these little slots here, and that fits in there simply like that. There's a little plastic bung which fits in over the top of that. And the fixed undercarriage is just fastened with these little metric 2mm screws that holds this particular little square block or triangular block in. And they'll just screw straight into the bottom of there. And that there retains the undercarriage. On the leading edge of the wing, you'll see there's two small little tubes. Uh, these are to house the replica cannon. So there's uh, one with a muzzle that goes on the inner side, and they just simply press in. And then a straight one which goes onto the outer panel. And again, just a press fit. And that's the cannons onto the leading edge of the wing. Okay, the great thing about these park zone models is most of the work is actually already done. So, this makes it a lot easier to get into the air a lot sooner. But with this we'll have a look at putting the tail on. So I'll grab the tail sections. So this is a two piece tail, left and right. And there's a carbon tube that goes through the centre of these. And that there presses into the side of the model into a locating down. That slips into there. And the same on the other side. And the elevators are attached by the square hinge at the back here. Just make sure they line up properly. It's fairly tight, but that fits in nicely. And the elevator is attached by these little clear bits of tape, and they just go over these particular parts here to, to fasten the elevator on. Looking inside of the wing, or where the wing bolts up to the fuselage, you'll see there's four extension leads, or four leads hanging out of here. Two of them, so the ones with aileron, are labelled obviously for your ailerons. The other two, one will be a pre-installed extension lead for the bomb dropping mechanism, which is an op optional extra, and the other will be for the optional retracts. Um, so they're there, but for this particular bit it won't be required. Um, but to fit the wing, very simple, there's two locating dowels here which fit into the front of the fuselage, and then two wing bolts at the back. So we should be able to just lift the wing straight up, and it'll fit into the fuselage. and then the two bolts into the back of the wing. Easy as that. Okay, so in the centre of the aeroplane here, you'll see this funny looking thing which you may not have seen on a park zone model before. But this particular cutout here is, um, uh, it'll have the ability to have a mechanical bomb dropper on it. So they call it a serverless bomb drop. Uh, the standard factory fitted one is just a spring loader one which has a little tiny arm at the back there which pulls this pin back and that holds on to the drop tank. The drop tank is also held straight with this little black cradle which this can be fitted or left off depending on what you want to do with your flying um, but that just fits on with four bolts, two at the front, two at the back. drop tank is just held by this little locating pin, fits into this hole, and there's a little tab on the side here which gets pulled back. Tank can be put on. And that holds the tank on. Thanks for taking the time to check out this new model. Till next time.